RTX 50 series is here and with it huge improvements to Nvidia's DLSS. So even if you're not one of the lucky few to get an RTX 5090 or 5080 on launch day before they ran out of stock, and if you're not one of the lucky few to be even able to afford one of these ridiculously expensive cards in the first place, don't worry, there's still several key benefits you'll be getting with this launch. And if you still have RTX 40 series, then there's still several key improvements to the frame generation feature with that, which uses their brand new transformer model which compared to the old CNN model is set to provide much better results when it comes to this frame gen tech. What it's supposed to really address is ghosting and artifacting, key issues with running frame generation especially at low fps and one of the main things people were worried about when it comes to rtx 50 series and generating so many artificial frames that it would just look like a mushy mess so thankfully with this transfer model that is pretty much not the case now the results very much vary as you can see here there's a very noticeable difference in some artifacting with the people walking in the distance between the transformer and the cnn models though of course the effect will be even more noticeable if you're running at a low FPS in the first place and the LSS has to do a lot more heavy lifting there. Now even if you don't have an RTX 40 series card then just the upscaling itself of the LSS will see improvements when it comes to all GeForce RTX graphics cards which is pretty neat though make sure you definitely turn on the transformer option in the settings of whichever game you choose. You also need to make sure to download the latest Nvidia drivers and the latest version of the Nvidia app if you want to take full advantage of all the brand new features. So do that before you run to my comments complaining that it isn't working for you. So while that's pretty good and all, it also makes the LSS a lot more confusing than it already was. Between multi-frame gen and transformer versus CNN, ray reconstruction, and all of the other tools they are bundling into this thing, it's not just about upscaling anymore, and it's a catch-all term for a lot of NVIDIA tech. And while they do provide some pretty useful graphics about which graphics cards can do what, it still doesn't change the fact that with every single generation, this issue becomes much much worse and I don't think it will be long before they try to do something about it to try and make this make a bit more sense to the average Joe. But what do you think about all of this then? Well let me know down in the comments below and maybe check out our Patreon as well because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Ronyak, Butter Shvoka, Butter Karrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft and Level Up. But anyway that's about it so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did remember to subscribe, like whatever and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.